Jill, we have actually been keeping something from you. It's going to be like a nothing's jumping out. Don't worry, no cockroaches. Wow, the captain's armband. Oh. I think this adds a bit of pressure. What was your first impression of me in the jungle? Well, we spoke about football straight away. Yeah. I just thought you were so creative. You'd just create like a washing line. Yeah. You'd make like a bandana out of a bit of cloth. For me to you, it was just, I'm in the jungle with a lioness. Like, I'm safe. I'm really soft, so you definitely weren't. <laughs> oh, your earliest memories of football? Being young, getting that first pair of football boots, yeah. um, getting a bit of stick for being a girl, yeah. playing football. Mine would be playing with the boys all the time, playing football, and yeah. just beating them, actually. I just want to put that out there. There you go. Yeah. Get that in there. Football, for me, as a child, like that was my kind of getaway. I yeah. could just go and play in the back lanes, have fun. It gave me an extra bit of confidence that yeah. I could hold my own in different spaces. That's why it's so important that every child should just have the opportunity to play sport, isn't it? Childhood role models. My two older brothers, so Stuart and Andrew, both played football professionally. Yeah. Which is why I kind of played a bit. Um, but also Ian Wright. Ian and what Wright. a guy as well. He's done so much for women's football. Obviously Roy Keane's played in Soccer Aid and he was the whole reason I wanted to play midfield when I was younger. I've got to say, Jill, you are going to be role models for a lot of young girls especially. People are looking up to you now, how does that make you feel? Just knowing that the next generation of players, it's okay for girls to play football, it's accepted, I think that just makes us very happy. So Soccer Aid for UNICEF is the only mixed gender football match on prime time television. I remember last year seeing Farrah Williams line up with like Wayne Rooney, Paul Scholes and I was like, when would that ever happen? We wanted to be that football is for all and accepted and it doesn't have to be women's football and men's football and I think this just really unites football. What are you most looking forward to for this game? Oh, imagine playing alongside Usain Bolt. Obviously, I'm not looking forward to chasing him, <laughs> but um, things like that will be definitely like pinch me moment. You are going to be captaining the England soccer aid. Oh, wow. For UNICEF. Wow. You are <laughs> doing it, Jill, oh, for all of us. Oh, such an honour. You know what? I never got the captain's armband. And hey. one of the reasons was because I got really little biceps <laughs> and it won't, <laughs> won't fit on my arm, so I better hit the gym. You will be the first ever female captain wow. for England. We've lost four times in a row. <laughs> no pressure. I do um, feel the pressure now. I do. I really do, yeah. I feel like I want to go and train and get ready. Do you go? Yeah, yeah okay, let's, let's do it. Let's go. I'm, I'm ready. ready, I'm ready. Following you, Jill. <laughs>